Hey guys, I am back at it again. I am going to dye my hair today and I'm going to be trying something uh, new, sort of new to me. I haven't used this brand since I was probably 16 years old. I think this was the first brand of hair dye that I used and it's the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color. Um, I have no makeup on today because I'm dyeing my hair and you know you have to take a shower because it's just too messy to put my head in the tub and rinse it out but either way you would mess up your foundation so yes girl has no makeup on looking fugly don't care okay so this is the color i picked up it's pretty similar to what i already have going on i'll show you guys in the light what my hair looks like so you can see my red undertones now this looks brighter in the sun always my hair looks brighter in the sun than it does on the inside um when i'm inside it just looks like i have brown hair personally with like a little hint of red but yes in the sun it looks very red violet okay i'm wearing a purple shirt which is probably not the best for reference but So it's very red violet. Yes, yeah, so I picked up this one, uh, the Garnier Nutrice, and the color that I got was Dark Intense Burgundy. Um, so my hair is pretty much burgundy. It's red and violet, red, purple, burgundy is pretty much the same thing. Um, and the reason why I picked this one up instead of the one that I used last time is because I noticed that the color just faded really fast and I'm just kind of like if it's not like amazing I'm not going to continue to buy it I like trying new things and um, affordable products and I'm just going to keep trying nice affordable ones that I like the color of and just kind of like when I find my most favorite one then I'll just obviously stick with it but I just haven't found like my most favorite hair dye yet so I just kind of use a lot of stuff but I do remember using this when I was 16 like I said and it was really uh, it smells really good because it has like this oil fruit oil concentrate and it nourishes your hair and I can use some of that and it says it's ultra long lasting ultra reflective for even uh, even for darker bases so this is what we're gonna be applying today and first things first I have a shirt on that I don't care about this is actually the cosmetology school that I went to this was my shirts from back then and I'm gonna go down my hair now and we shall see how it looks um, I don't know if you guys can see how grown out my roots are I don't know it's like really hard to see okay you see this that looks nothing like this color there we go you can see my roots they're like a good half an inch out there's another good look at my hair so it's a pretty color it just um oh look at it from behind it looks like really red it's really not that red like inside really doesn't look like that but yeah um, it's a pretty color it just um, I need my my roots dyed and it, this color pretty much matches the rest of my hair so I was like I'll just put this on the roots and I'll put the rest through the ends um, just to like freshen up the color already because I just always feel like it gets lighter like my hair just like gets lighter and when I first dyed it it just looked really dark so I'm gonna mostly concentrate this on the roots because I just need my roots dyed and then whatever I have left I'll just distribute to the rest so of it. So this is what it is this is what is inside the box. Um the developer in the bottle. The color cream, nice metal tube. I if you saw my last hair dye video I really appreciate appreciate the metal tubes because you can squeeze every last bit out of there and this is the instructions and the gloves oh what is this oh conditioner oh that's cute 
that's a different bottle. Usually it comes in a squeeze tube. And then you also get this fruit oil concentrate that I was telling you guys about. It's got the grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and shea. Um, yeah, let's get started. Like I already said, I have used this brand, but I have never used this color before. So this is brand new to me. Smells amazing, by the way. Wow. All right, so I have brushed out my hair to make sure there's no uh, no like tangles and stuff. This isn't really like a tutorial on how to dye your hair. I'm just gonna show you some clips, like I've been doing. But um, I didn't really tell you much information in the last video I did. So I just wanted to let you know that there is a right way like that I learned in Cosmo School where you split it into four quadrants and then you like take little sections of each quadrant. Um, I am just like so sick of doing it that way because it takes forever. So I kind of just like, I just get it done. First I do my hairline, I do my roots and then I spread the rest to the ends and I just get it done sloppily, which is how I am now. Laziness. And right here, I just wanted to show you guys how you can get every last bit of your hair dye. I just twist up all the ends of my hair and I stick it into the bottle and swirl it around because there is actually a lot of product left inside there. Um, so utilize it, you know? Um, and that's how you get more bang for your buck. Alright guys, so here it is my entire head is saturated uh so far so good um it looks like a really nice burgundy color but if you dye your hair a lot you know that's not an accurate representation of how it's gonna look when it washes out could be could not be you never know box dyes sometimes they crazy we don't know yet but so far it's very pretty um, I was able to use one bottle for my whole head and you know I have very long hair if you watch my videos I have super long hair and I was able to saturate my entire head with it now I don't have very thick hair or coarse hair at all my hair is pretty thin I just have a lot of it um, so everybody's different you might need two boxes you know to be safe get two boxes I always use one because I use the same like fam colors in the how do I want to say this I always use the same color family like I'm always using burgundy red brown violet -y, cherry colors so if I missed a spot it wouldn't look bad because my hair is already the undertone of that so if you're dyeing your hair for the first time you definitely need to get two boxes if you have medium to long hair just in case you need to make sure you saturate or thing because if you miss a spot and you have blonde hair or if you miss a spot and you have just say light brown hair it's gonna show but yes so so far um it smells really good i like the way it smells that oil was the thing that smelled really delicious it says for me to leave it in for 25 to 30 minutes so i'm gonna do 30 minutes i usually do 40 but i don't want to over process my hair because i've been dying it a lot so Sorry, I'm all red. I was scratching my face. <laughs> so attractive. 
Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it in for 30 minutes. It's 5.50 p.m. And I will be washing it out at 6.20. And then I will show you guys the results. But so far, so good. I'm happy with how much product was in that bottle because it felt like there wasn't going to be enough. But it totally saturated my hair. There might have been some even left in the bottle that I didn't need. And um, the color looks pretty and it smells really nice. It feels really smooth and conditioning. So I'm excited to see how my hair feels afterwards and what the color looks like. Okay, I'll get back to you guys. Whoa. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the results of my hair. My hair is super staticky right now because it's very cold today. I think it's like, I don't know, like 20 degrees, 30 degrees, I'm not sure. But it's very cold today, so my hair is super staticky. And I got some sun over here to show y'all the color. It is really, really pretty. I love it. It works perfectly with the color I already had. So I think I'm going to keep using this box dye to do my roots because I'm loving this color. It's like really nice, dark, intense burgundy, just like it said on the box. And I'm really happy with the results. Oh, that's a little too bright. Really happy with the results. I don't know. I hope this is a good represent. <laughs> can't even talk. I hope this is a good representation of the colors for you guys to see. Just trying to find a good spot. Yeah. So that was it. I just wanted to show you guys the results. Um, I really, really like this hair dye. And I actually had a $2 coupon. Um, I bought it at my grocery store H-E-B, like I always say I shop there, and they had a $2 coupon off, so this hair dye was $4.99, and originally it's still super affordable, it's $6.99, so yeah, I'm really happy with the results. My hair was so soft and so silky when I washed it out, and it still feels really soft, but I'm just really stacky because it's so cold outside, but yeah, I really like it. So thumbs up for this hair dye, definitely going to be a repurchase. Um, what else? The conditioner smelt really good, but it wasn't as silky as some other conditioners, but I'm not too worried about it because the actual hair dye made my hair very soft. So I'm really, really happy with the results. And I hope this was helpful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love reviewing products. If you have any requests, let me know. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and clicking on this video. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.